Spotify caching bundles app tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to uh, install or uh, use the caching bundle app into your uh, specific store that you're going to open on Shopify. So this app is going to be very helpful for creating bundles, having some quality breaks and also setting up, let's say, um, up sales and also uh, getting your way through the clients to sell more products until you're going to have a main goal, which is going to be uh, selling higher or upselling or scaling your online business. So the app is going to be called like this. So you are going to uh, put your app uh, like that or type in only the name of caching bundles. You're going to find this app. The first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com, sign in for an account, and then you are going to have the search bar type here. You are going to type in caching bundle. If you're going to find the app here, it is okay. If not, click on search on Shopify App Store. You're going to find a lot of apps. Click on the first one, install it just like that in a few clicks. So we are going to wait for a few seconds, click on install, boom. Now what are we going to do it is going to be very simple. We are going to wait for the app to load up, pin the app to the navigation, and we are going to um, select one of the plans. So basically this app is going to be free to install only and it has a 14 day free trial. So here you can see that we have um, seen the uh, app. We have chosen the specific, let's say here plans and we are going to find the app from here. I have activated my uh, free trial. I'm going to activate uh, the caching bundle into our storefront. We're going to wait for the uh, app to load up into the um, editor or the store editor here. We're going to find this, uh, as you can see, app activated. We're going to click on save only. If you're not going to find the app or you have some issues here, go ahead to the embeds. We're going to find the caching bundles, activate it and save it. That was the first, uh, uh, the first step. Second one, we're going to create a bundle deal. So we are going to create a discount, for example. So we can go ahead and put buy one, get one free or save 50%. Uh, I don't know here. It is going to be customizable. You are going to find something like that. You can change the colors, like some more vivid colors like these. And it is going to be very cool. So depending on the store, not the store, but basically the background color that you have chosen, it is going to be something like that. So what can we do basically is going to be very simple. Uh, we are going to have the first pack or you can use two packs, for example, you can have here, for example, these uh, combinations for the options and etc. You can choose this plan, for example, one of these, uh, as you can see, and then we are going to proceed to the next one. So I'm going to uh, select maybe this one is better. So the complete bundle. So can go ahead and have the name of it on it. For example, uh, we can put a, a discount name, which is going to be shown in the cart or the checkout, the block title bundle and save, for example, the visibility for maybe all the products, a specific kind of products and etc. cetera, uh, markets, you can choose the markets, the active and also deactivation dates and the variance pricings and etc. So I can see that we have the cart. Uh, you can go ahead and skip the cart and go directly to the checkout, collect or let the clients see the uh, checkout. So I'm going to deactivate the cart because maybe it is going to be a place where you're not going to be able to control the customers, but you're going to take them directly to the checkout to um, say summarize the time and etc. Here we have the colors. Uh, the general colors and everything. So you can change the badge, the free gift, upsell, as you can see here, everything should be changeable and customizable. 
So we can have the typography, the font size, the font style, titles, blocks, everything is going to be mentioned from here. We're going to add a bar, for example, buy X, get Y free, for example, quantity breaks, uh, I don't know here, bundle up sale, for example, like that. You can have the widget set up here. You can run uh, the A slash B uh, test, for example, to run up the products and everything should be in a good place. Now, you can go ahead and save in the uh, bundle. You can see here and Let's see, or do we have the product? We need to set up the products. Unfortunately, I do not have a product, so I'm going to discard everything. You can see that we have everything right there. And we're going to uh, here see everything set into one place. We have the translations, the analytics, the plans, and everything. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.